Hello, YouTube, and everyone out there. I'm um, just going to make a little kind of review here of the ECX Torment by Horizon Hobby. And I'll be comparing the specs to a Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive XL5 edition. This one's the one with the onboard audio, but I'm not going to add that. This basic stuff that you need to know. Um, anyways... I've done a lot of driving videos with the Torment. Uh, I think a lot of driving. I did. I have a few driving videos on my on my channel of me driving the ECX Torment and other stuff. Uh, my cousin driving the ECX Torment. Uh, my cousin has two actually. Uh, this is uh, this is his right here, and then that's my other cousin's uh, Torment over there. And that one's a K&N edition. This one is just a regular ECX tournament. Um, for those of you who are new to the RC stuff, ECX, or some, for those of you who know, ECX is is owner of the, it was actually is the brand of the Horizon Hobby line. And Horizon Hobby is the ones who also made the popular Low C brand. Uh, so this is basically their low end bashing kits and stuff which you know it's great and first first of all first impressions is the price this is a lot cheaper than when you get than what you get on a track a slash two-wheel drive at least a two-wheel drive this is about 180 dollars that's the same price as a Traxxas bandit and uh, it's all ready to run. And what they mean by ready to run, they really mean they really mean it. Meaning you get the batteries included, you got you got um, other stuff that you need, and also the ECX Torment does have the 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 2.4 gigahertz radio system, and which I will show you later on in this video. So, uh, it's a short course truck, 10 scale, same size as about same size as the Traxxas Slash. So we're gonna open what's what's inside. All right, this is the inside of the torment. As you can see, it has a high center of gravity chassis, similar to what you find on the stock Traxxas Slash chassis. So, and or a Traxxas Stampede, as, as far as I know. Um, let's go to the back here and move our way up to the front. The back part we have a full ball bearing transmission, but the only problem is these are all plastic, all, all running through. So you can you all have no option of just driving with a brush system. However, you can upgrade that to brushless uh, by putting a new motor and putting a new set of gears, meaning you have to put metal gears on a plastic if the if the transmission's already been with plastic, plastic how plastic gears. You have to upgrade to metal if you want to make it last longer. Um, it uses Traxxas style telescoping drive shafts here on the side, well, drive axles. And um, let's see, you got an adjustable shock tower here, where that's a slash, you can't do that, we're just fixed. Um, you have to upgrade that if you, if you want to do that same thing on a slash. Moving up to the middle, our ESC is, a dy is from Dynamite. Which you will not see the the label, but it says right in the back it's made by Dynamite, and it has the EC3 connector, and it's also compatible with 2S LiPo. And the battery hold down system is pretty neat to me, where you, you can just slap the battery in there and just lock in with two thumb screws, and there you go. And here is where it houses the radio receiver and the servo. And the servo is, is right in there. You will not see it, but it's there. Let me look at under. There's the servos there, that little silver thing. Moving up to the front, we have nothing much in here, but we have adjustable uh, shock um, body post here. And speaking of adjustability here, you can adjust the the front shock uh, shock. Uh, how do I say this? The shock right height and the rear right height. So that means there are three holes for adjustability and there are two holes on the front. Oh, actually on the bottom on the front, yeah. 
and on the rear there are three adjustable positions on the top and two on the I think two on the bottom I cannot see that let me show you a little comparison with that and the tracks a slash so here's the slash and the torment uh, in side by side uh, just ignore the LCG chassis here we're not gonna be talking about that yeah but anyways in a, in a moment we won't be talking about it anyways uh, the Torment has three adjustable uh, parts, adjustable positioning, shock positioning on the top, and both on the rear, both the rear and the front. The slash only has it's only fixed, so you can you have no option of turning, adjusting anything on the top except on the bottom. On the front, it's the same thing, no adjustable positioning on the top, but you have two adjustable adjustable areas on the bottom of the A arms. What's another adjustability flaw or drawback, I should say, another adjustability drawback of the Torment compared to the Slash is the Torment uses non-adjustable camber links nor toe links. They're all of them are solid plastic, just like what you find on the Traxxas Rustler, except the Rustler has adjustable toe link. The Slash, on the other hand, you can adjust your camber, you can adjust your front toe, and you can adjust your rear camber. You will also notice right now that this car, the Traxxas Slash, has toe in. It's an angle where the, the wheels are angled inward, which is totally fine with a rear wheel drive vehicle because it will help you reduce the natural tendency of its oversteering. The Torment, on the other hand, has little to no no uh, toe in on the rear so they're all pretty much almost straight so that's going to give you a little bit of frustration when you're getting on the gas because this thing's going to be sliding a lot especially these tires these tires are they look amazing they look awesome but the track the compound is not as great as i would expect same thing with the slash the the bf goodrich is, is a little bit worse but you know to each his own um just like with the Traxxas Slash, the way the Torment drives, when you turn, it's going to lean to one side. Same thing with the Slash, especially when the Slash has its progressive rate spring, it's going to lean to one side as you turn. Speaking of progressiveness, I actually upgraded the, the uh, springs that came off my Rustler. Uh, the Torment does not have that progressive rate spring, so that's good. That's a plus for that, because honestly, someone walked in the door. There's my cousin, Desai, and Sensei Bond. Hi. All right. All right, sorry for that little interruption. My little cousins has to come over by. Uh, anyways, uh, so the Torment doesn't have a progressive rate springs on their car so that's a plus but if you get a slash that's preferably stock it's kind of bad I'm not really a big fan of you know leaning to that stuff they really put that there just to have a realistic driving experience because the real torque trucks actually lean to one side as they as they uh, as they uh, turn and they under acceleration they actually squat so that pretty much almost wraps up the whole torment thing and the slash. Um, another drawback of one more, I think. One more drawback that the torment has that the slash doesn't have is the fact that the torment has no low center of gravity conversion kit. If there is, let me know in the comments. But as for now, I don't know if there's any low center of gravity chassis conversion kit for the Torment. So as of right now, there are no LCG conversion kits for the Torment. Whereas the Slash, it does. This is a low center of gravity conversion kit I have that I purchased for $30. And it's a really good deal. You know, it's totally worth it if you want to, if you want it to handle a lot better. So that pretty much wraps up the whole Slash and Torment comparison. Um, um, I for actually, I forgot to mention one more thing, then I'll 
to be done for sure about these. The did I I mentioned about the torment having plastic gears, so they're not brushless ready. The slash has full metal gears in there, so you can just upgrade to a new brushless system and you're just good to go. All right, that is it. The controllers is uh, on the torment is. Actually, I love this controller compared to the old to the Traxxas TQ system, uh, TQ radio. This one is a Spectrum DX2E, and you know it's you got your basic steering, you know forward and reverse, and your throttle throttle steering trim and steering dual rate, and you're reversing. But this one right here, I love the ergonomics on this one. If I like the feel of the hand, you know. So, so uh, kudos to Horizon for that. And compared to the Traxxas one, it's just a big hunk of plastic, you know, despite the fact it has a third channel. But you do have your basic forward reverse and your steering and your and your throttle trim. Uh, not throttle trim, uh, steering trim. It doesn't have a throttle trim. Uh, and a set button. The I know another, another, the only TQ radios that I know that has the throttle trim is the old 27 megahertz ones and the modern TQI. I did forget the I, I did forget that the torment has weak steering. Uh, well, like I mean, not weak steering, but it does have great steering. But look at that. That thing is wiggling all over the place right there. That's the only thing I don't like about the torment. The slash has a little bit of play, and uh, it has enough torque just to to uh, get it uh, get it through turns pretty okay. So all in all, though, these are great looking, great trucks, but for those of you who are going to be starting into the new hobby, I suggest you go to Traxxas, though. But Torment, you know, for the money, you know, if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money just for, you know, just driving around, just have fun in fun your backyard or in front of your house, yeah, go ahead and get the Torment. It's a really good truck for the money, but as, as time goes by, you really want to upgrade, right? So... You're going to be spending a lot of money just to get yourself a brushless system and a full metal gear set. So keep that in mind. Or as a slash or any Traxxas vehicle, all you just need to do, just get just buy the brushless system and you're good to go. But to each his own. And, every, and everybody has their own opinions. I have my own opinions and you do too. So if you have any thoughts, please leave it on the comment section below. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, you want to ask for some improvement. If, if you want to ask for some improvement, hit the like dislike button. Either way, it helps me a ton and I appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you later.